Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with the video on the demonstration of software defined radio and SDR Angel along with my Wi Fi jammer, which is a homebrew jammer. Uh, we're going to look at a couple of things. Uh, we're going to look at, uh, first of all, we're going to try to see uh, what what type of a signal that my hack RF is capturing. And based on that, we're going to try to jam it using this homebrew Wi Fi jammer. Uh, concept behind Wi Fi jammer or any jammer is just to send noise signal at the same frequency so you can disrupt the signal that's all it is so this is just for educational purposes just to show you the application of rfs and things like that things like that so let's just quickly look at it as you can see on my computer screen i have sdr angel so i have my hack rf is connected let's just quickly look at it go to add receiving devices under this uh, reset this or refresh this you will see a list of device. My hack RF is right there and click OK. And this is the screen that you will see on your computer. And just let me just make this a little bit bigger. So here you will see the spectrum. Here you will see the waterfall display uh, and so on. So let me just quickly do this. Uh, all I need to do is just change the frequency, default frequency for SDR. Every time you open up SDR Angel is 435 megahertz. So just change this to, to 2.435 gigahertz or 2435 megahertz. Let me just increase this frequency. 2435 and let's hit play. So as you can see, you can already start seeing that on waterfall graph is clear that I am getting some Wi-Fi signals. Uh, if, it, if there was nothing, you won't see any of that on the waterfall. But just to improve this display, uh, let me s increase my low noise amplifier again. Now these lines are much wider and much clearer. And increase the VG again and so on. You can increase the sap rate as well. Uh, let me just increase this since I'm using hack RF so I can see a broader spectrum like this so by increasing so you can see the spikes clearly um, so this is what we're getting right now uh, so I have a sample rate which is being set to about 7.4 megahertz sam mega samples per second even though hack RF supports about 10 mega samples if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the next step is, is just to plug in my jammer. So this is the output of my jammer that is going to fire up this jammer. And I'm gonna simply plug this in to my USB port and you would start observing the effect on my waterfall graph on SDR Angel on my laptop screen. As soon as I plug in, here we go. So now the entire thing that we're getting the burst of data we're not getting anymore is just nothing but noise. You cannot make up of anything. It's just think of it like watching an old television and, and you get nothing but uh, uh, gibberish like this. As soon as I unplug this, you start seeing your signal. You can start clearly see your spike on your spectrum. But when I plug in my jammer, you won't see anything. You would just see on waterfall graph is much clearer that you are seeing nothing but noise and this is the effect. So right now, as you can clearly see this, I am connected to uh, a 2.4 gigahertz, but does it operate on 5.8 gigahertz? No. It was designed the code that was there because I think I made a detailed video on this. This was basically based on ESP32. So the code that is there, that is for 2.4 gigahertz span, it will not work for 5.8 gigahertz. Even though, let's give it a try. 5745, that's the channel. Let me just change this to 5745. So this is somewhere around 5.8 gigahertz band that my laptop is connected to. Uh, my jammer is not plugged in. Let me plug in my jammer. Let me move this close to antenna. No effect. So whatever the circuit that you design, for a particular frequency, it will only work for that. So you got to make sure the code that is there, that is for 2.4 gigahertz, it will not work for 2.4, uh, 5.7 or 5.8 gigahertz band. So that's the small demo. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, leave it in a comment section, guys. 
and don't forget to like and subscribe for my channel and thanks for watching